see if we can bust off a, not a nil wind launch, but a low wind launch for sure. We're just going to go for a cool little flight with my buddies and I'll give you some of the difference that I've found between my old Power to Fly frame with the Moster 185 Classic and my new PAP with a Moster 185 MY20 with a clutch. So I hope you enjoy. So let's see what we got. 58, 5800 to fly straight and level on this wing with this motor on my on my other motor which had a 125 e-prop and was a classic without a clutch it took 6700 rpm i know you can't see it but we're holding like 56 57 right around there so it's pretty solid would definitely re reduce my fuel burn quite significantly I also noticed that I'm assuming it's the propeller that the propeller from PAP which I'm pretty sure is like almost the same as a helix has a lot lower pitched sound to it it's definitely a lower frequency which to my ear sounds quieter but rather that's actually the case if I'm not mistaken lower frequencies actually travel further but they don't sound as loud so and the cool thing is I don't know if you can see it but I can just look down and see my fuel tank on this motor. I love that. That is super cool to me. Not having to have a mirror. Not that I really have anywhere to mount one on this anyway. Speaking of, we're gonna try something. Woo, we got cruise control, boys. Now we can just chill. It's nice. You see how I can build all that energy and it just doesn't, it doesn't balloon up on me. It's one thing that I love about this wing. even full throttle it's just fun to pop up like that with the brakes and a little bit of throttle split these trees see if we can uh,
light pole down there, so I ain't going down. There's lines. Yeah, there they are. Our power lines.
<laughs> hit some kind of turbulence or maybe took a weak tip collapse. I don't know. Something weird happened there. But maybe I hit someone's wing for all I know. That felt weird though. One of the other things that I've noticed is that my old motor didn't have a lot of, we'll call it resolution, with the throttle. There were jumpy spots in the throttle. It wasn't perfectly linear and smooth. As I squeezed for a little bit more, sometimes I'd get a bunch, sometimes I'd get none. The new motor just feels so perfect. It's so linear. It's so smooth with the throttle. And it made me a lot more comfortable flying lower. And I feel like I can control my speed, my throttle. I, I can focus better and I can fly lower more comfortably because of it. significantly colder down here than it was above the tree line. Don't know why that is. Feels nice though. <laughs> However, if I had a motor out, I'd much prefer to land here than over there. Especially trimmed out halfway. <laughs> That'd be a fast landing. See if 
we could brush the grass with our foot. Got one! <laughs> Not exactly a foot drag, but step one of foot dragging. We'll go with that. We're going to try for this big bushel right up here. Woo! Oh, I got little stickers all over my shoe. Well, at least that proves I did it. <laughs> And it just got significantly warmer. That's wicked. Bunny rabbits or foxes or something. I don't know. Oh no, those are little deer. <laughs> Hello, little deer. Little deer. Got a line stuck on the GoPro, but we're down. That was kind of a, I wouldn't say it's a sketchy landing, but I was kind of like holding a little bit of brake the whole way in. And I didn't have quite as much flare authority as I normally do, but you know, I was aware of the fact that that was gonna be the case. Man, that was a good flight though. Good flight. Here comes Scott. Very nice. I prefer not to do power on landings. If there's a lot of wind, I'll do it, but. <laughs> and he's jamming out to music as always. <laughs> And here comes Sean. That low approach again. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, run, forest, run. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. All right, boys and girls, if there is any out there, watch it. Thanks for joining me. Catch y'all next time.